Well, the next inflation report comes out this week, but ask just about anybody, and you're going to hear a lot of folks saying it's forcing a lot of tough decisions. Yeah, so we wanted to know how people are balancing higher costs with summer plans. 7 News reporter Faraz Javed hit the streets to see how Metro Detroiters are weighing in on inflation versus vacation. Hello. Hello, hi. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Wake it up. Yup, a fresh Rochester University graduate, Bailey Malone, can't miss her morning coffee. Have you noticed how latte prices have kind of gone up over the years? Oh yeah, like even the price of this has gone up. <laughs> I want to say a dollar or two. But then so are prices for other goods and services, right? Yes, I've noticed a price increase just in regular grocery shopping. I could get by about with $250 a month, and now I'm hitting about, I want to say, $300 or to $350. Like so how are you managing all this? I'm in a lot of personal debt, just credit card debt, trying to pay everything. So has all this impacted your summer travel plans? I haven't planned anything that isn't like local and within an hour drive. Another Michigander, Jorge Costa, is also feeling the inflation pinch. Oh yeah? You too? Believe it or not, Benny, Jorge's one and a half year old son, is also under the inflation squeeze. Babies love berries, and okay. berries are expensive, and the cost just keeps going up. Milk, yeah. eggs. With summer around the corner, has inflation impacted your travel plans? It has made us think twice. You feel it, uh, airline seats for sure, and even gas just bouncing up and down. I think we generally, as, as much as possible, try to, to like try to do a direct flight instead of a connecting flight. Mm. But you, you definitely see the disparity between the prices and sort of like, I don't know how long we'll be able to, able to keep it up. Jorge and his partner want more kids, but rising home prices have to be factored in. My partner and I were, we were talking about this yesterday. Is uh, the idea of waiting to uh, to have a baby later in life? We haven't grown out of our home yet, and it's it's in the area, and we love living here. Uh, but man, it risks, it doesn't bode well for the future, like being able to grow into a bigger home with with more kids. Meanwhile, Bailey has also found ways to cut back on her expenses. I've been looking for coupons and things online deals if I can find them. Other than that just working hard really. Surely that's not something you had envisioned for yourself, right? No, I didn't envision, you know, having to work two jobs and maybe a couple side on the things on the side like DoorDash and stuff just to make ends meet. In Royal Oak, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit.